while i was doing my research for a particular video i was doing a query quick comparison between the 2023 actual results versus the 2024 estimates my ultimate aim was to see a, if i can see some kind of trend or some kind of leaning towards a particular stream in 2024 as compared to 2023 and the results I saw is, is pretty interesting, which I wanted to share with every one of you. So the first screenshot here you would see is the actual results from 2023. You would see here that the number of nominations issued is 10,029, which is around 250, 280 odd extra than the nomination limits of 9750 allocated by federal government to Alberta. And that is due to the reason that there is always a buffer given to individual provinces which they can use and alberta had used all its buffer because the the demand was very high last year this year alberta has again been allocated 9750 we will we don't know how much is the buffer but let's still compare the results of individual streams in 2023 versus the actual results in sorry versus the allocations or the estimates in 2024 okay so first screenshot that you see here is uh, is 2023 actual results and i will always do a comparison with the with the actual allocations that are estimated for 2024 so these are the two screens i will just switch between in this particular video so so first let's look at the Alberta Opportunity Stream, the most popular stream here in Alberta. Alberta Opportunity Stream in 2023, 4971, 4971 certificates were issued by Alberta. And in 2024, this number is expected to still go up. So it will, it is estimated that Alberta will issue 5393 nominations in 2024 so this is a significant jump from the 4971 it's almost like 400 extra certificates that will be issued under the alberta opportunity stream okay next in the screenshot you will see rural renewal stream of 875 actual nominations issued in rural renewal stream in 2023 now if you see compare this with the actual so 2020 uh, sorry with the estimates of 2024 you see a huge uh, jump here the estimates is 1900 it is all it is more than double of what was actually allocated in 2023 in 2023 as i showed you we um aip issued 875 certificates and right now we are doing 1900 certificates which is 1025 yep if my math is correct 1025 certificates extra it's not just double it's like thousand extra allocations to the rural renewal stream what this basically indicates is that alberta has assessed or found a higher interest in the rural renewal stream and that's the reason it's kind of allocating 1900 certificates for 2024 in fact if i see the actual numbers of um, nominations issued already issued under rural renewal stream it's already gone past the 2023 numbers it's oh, we are already at 1220 which is 400 odd extra than the 2023 actuals so that is something I found really interesting for the in the analysis. Entrepreneur Stream, they had issued four nominations in 2023 actuals. In as far as the 2024 estimate is concerned, they are already at four, four for the entrepreneur stream. There is the allocation of 22 in this particular in this particular year. So that kind of indicates a five-fold increase in entrepreneur stream. But again, it's possible that if there are no further applications under a particular stream, those numbers can be can be reallocated to other streams where the demand is high. So that is possible. So entrepreneur stream, I'm not too worried about. Anyways, I'm, I don't concentrate much on the entrepreneur stream. Okay. Next, next, I see the family connection and occupation in demand. Okay. If I see in 2023 the actual allocations in 
family connections and occupation in demand the actual issue issuance of certificate was 1220 1220 certificates were issued under family occup uh, connection and occupation in demand in 2023 now just remember that number and compare it with the actual allocations in 2024 see the 2024 the actual allocations is 177 it's like 1000 extra 1000 less than what was issued in 2023 this is a rather serious figure so in 2023 when we saw a very high dependency or a very high popularity or the very high allocations to family connection in 2024 it's expected to reduce drastically it's like from 1220 it's coming to 17 177 it's like what less than 20 percent of what was issued in so like more like almost 80 percent correction in the in the family family connection and occupation in demand so what this tells us so this tells us that if you are interested in family connection if you are looking at family connection and occupation in demand it's time to look it's time to look somewhere else because not not only the number of certificates allocation has uh, has decreased if you look at the recent numbers out of 177 aip has already issued 106 so it's like 71 uh, nominations are left in family connection and occupation in demand and that is if there is a draw till now in 2024 we have already seven months seven into the seventh month there is no draw yet about the family connection that has happened in 2024 so it's 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 quite possible that these certificate numbers will um, will not be will not be there like if if you're targeting this it's very high chance that you you might not make under this particular category because i understand in 2023 it was very popular like i can see 1220 allocations so with this just compare this to the 2023 rural renewal scheme 875 12, family connection had more certificates issued in uh, as compared to rural renewal stream but in fact it was a third most popular stream in 2023 but in 2024 it the picture has like turned on itself rural renewal stream is now past 1900 and family connection is just down to 177 so that gives us a very very stark change in family connection and occupation and demand so i hope many people have been asking in the chats in the in the comments about family connection and occupation and demand this is something which is important that we need to consider if we are targeting if you are targeting for the family connection or occupation and demand okay next next look at the at the very popular accelerated tech pathway in fact i was doing a research for uh, accelerated tech pathway when this uh, number just uh, came at me 1996 certificates issued in 2023 keep that number in mind again and and compare it with with 2024 estimates 1047 so almost 900 less 900 less than the 2023 actuals so accelerated tech pathway is and is coming down on the on the preference list and one of the reasons could be the fact that alberta in 2024 has introduced multiple multiple streams which are multiple new streams which are in line with their with their uh, uh, with their economic needs right like for example dedicated healthcare pathway a dedicated healthcare pathway in 2023 was introduced pretty late uh, in 2023 had allocations of 122 the actual certificates issued issued were 122 in 2024 where the number is in 2024 number is 320 so almost doubled so dedicated healthcare pathway will have will have more allocations in 2024 as compared to 2023 again they have already issued 258 certificates which is almost double yep which is already double the certificates issued in 2023 one at 122 so dedicated healthcare pathway i have made a video on dedicated healthcare pathway where i 
I had mentioned this particular fact that in 2024, this is one, one pathway which will take off. And I think this is or totally in line with what was expected. Okay. Next come priority sectors. In priority sectors in 2023, 805 certificates were issued. Actually, they were issued. They went out to the people. Keep the number in mind and come to priority sector number in 2024, 231. Right. So almost like one fourth of what was issued in 2023. So this again proves my point that family connection and demand and priority sector is going down in preference in fact in fact even tech pathway has gone has gone down in allocations but not that much but but the significant change i see in double digit percentage numbers is in the priority sector and family connection and demand it is going to it is going to impact it is going to impact anybody who who was hoping or who is hope, who still hoping for getting a NOI under these two sectors. So if you are targeting any two of these sectors, I would say it's time to look beyond. Look beyond because others other streams have major allocations. Like for example, tourism and hospitality. This is a very new stream that is that was just declared in 2024 so we cannot compare this to any of the streams in 2023 but just to give you an idea 200 660 allocations have been done so to so so any of the numbers that you see is going down from say accelerated tech pathway or family connection or priority sector these numbers that 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 we see a fall in fall in 2024 i i see it to be uh to be due to number one tourism and hospitality stream it has gone it has gotten an allocation of 660 from zero so so somewhere so since the number of certificates is still the same 9750 if if one stream gains any kind of allocations it has to be at the cost of other streams and i think all of these streams in express entry stream has taken that hit in 2024 tech pathway has gone down significantly like almost half priority sector is like down 20 percent like uh, down to 20 percent and same with family connection it's like just down to it's like down by almost 80 percent in 2024 plus allocation for alberta opportunity stream has increased right so this kinds of gives us a very very good idea about what to expect in 2024 just look at one more number express entry stream there is a total allocation of 1775 is the total allocation across all the streams in in 2024 across all the express entry streams and substreams the total allocation is 1775 just compare this to the 2023 number Accelerated tech, the, the allocations under express entry stream was like 4,000, 4,179. It has gone down to 1,775, right? Obviously, um, 600 odd went to the tourism and hospitality stream. But but we cannot do a like a one-to-one -one comparison, but just look at the overall picture. 4179 allocations in 2024 2023 for express entry and it's just down to like what 1775 1775 like how much is it like let me do a quick calculation um it's like 42 percent so it's it has gone down like 58 percent in 2024 the allocations for express entry has gone down so much the gainers are Alberta opportunity stream, which is 5393 versus 4 versus 4971. Right? Rural renewal stream is the gainer, 875 versus 1900. And tourism and hospitality stream is anyways a net gainer because it's a new stream that was introduced in 2024. Okay. So yeah, a very good analysis, a very good number um that i found and i just hope that this would that somebody of you would find it very interesting it might be possible that 
this kind of analysis would actually actually help you decide which stream to choose because the fact that some of the most popular streams in 2023 doesn't have that much allocations in 2024 this kind of means that the, the all the learnings that we did in 2023 and all the estimates and all the plans that we did in 2023 doesn't come to fruition in 2024 right so so yeah that is something that we need to understand we need to follow and I'll, I'll keep a check on these numbers these numbers obviously will change during the year but i don't expect numbers to change drastically like i i, I don't expect 1047 to go up to 2000 in in 2024 so much that it oh it surprises it surprises the um uh, 2023 numbers like 2023 had uh 1900 odd in accelerator tech pathway so i don't expect that kind of a change obviously some changes will happen because something like entrepreneur stream has will have a certain uh overflow which which will uh uh, which can be used in other streams. So we will see a certain changes as we go forward. But again, not a. I'm not expecting a huge sea of change in uh, in in the allocations in uh, in 2024. Okay. So I hope you find this analysis interesting. If you have any questions, reach out to me. People have been reaching out to me on my comments and the WhatsApp group. So do reach out to me. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much.